eBay Motors powers Hot Rod Drag Week 2021, presented by Gear Vendors Overdrive. This is day four. We're in Byron, Illinois. At this point, we have driven roughly 900 miles. We've got roughly 300 cars, and we are ready to go to action here at Byron Dragway. Next pair, Marty Coster. On the right-hand side, the Monte Carlo. He is third in Super Street Small Block Power Adder. We got two white Monte Carlo. Two white Monte Carlo G bodies, both in the top three of Super Street Small Block Power Adder. Jason Ferguson, who you saw go down a moment ago, and he's at number one, and then here in the right-hand lane, Marty Coster is going to be number third. Also on the left-hand side, second in B gap. There's the wheelie, I promise, even banging it into second gear in that car. That's the Monte Carlo on the right-hand side, 919 at 131. The gasser, 1082. 1082 out of the gasser. That is going to be his best pass of the week by quite a bit, 11-0 being his prior best. We're knocking down numbers here at Byron Dragway. Steven Mask on the left-hand side in the Roadmaster. Check this out. Wayne Baker in the right-hand side, your leader in A-gas, and how two-lane blacktop is this thing? He's got street wheels that look just like the two-lane blacktop car from the movie. Those are actual greater super tricks on the car now. It's a tunnel ramp big block with a G4 five-speed. This car has been running in the 930s, 40s, and 50s. And it is not. 1023. You'll see him back looking for nines in that car. The Roadmaster goes 1341 at 98 miles an hour. going along here at Byron. It is a nearly 4,000 foot track and if you go too far you have to U-turn it a little bit to come on back to the left-hand side return road. In the right-hand side is Hilbert Osborne. That silver 55 Chevy's been here before. He's running in Pro Street Power Outer. Joe Barstow is in the left-hand lane. Joe Barstow with the 70 Chevelle. Chevy is up in quite a bit as he goes 6.58 to the 8th and 10.80 at the quarter mile at only 108. Not looking good. Joe Barstow, 13.32, coasting to 71 miles an hour.
got something going on there that he's going to reveal to you later on today if he makes another pass. Tom Brett in the right-hand side is running in unlimited. What makes this car curious is that he has a 632 big block running on pump gas. Best number from the Chevy thus far, 842 at 161. Zero seven for the 56 Chevy, 159.46 miles an hour. In an area where he can run on his consistent 1060s numbers, rather than having to have have to play around with the tenth that way we remove from the average for each of these. Stu Hill is in the 57 Bel Air here on the left hand side. He describes the color as blurple. Christopher Dubin is in the right in the 68 Barracuda Dodge. And the Barracuda, 1144 at 114. The 57 Chevy, 1041 at 128. Rabiac there in the gasser on the right-hand side. Back in the gasser, 983 at 132 miles. Glenn Hunter, our leader in Pro Street Power Adder, a 56 Chevy capable of sixes and running in the 733.9, running 733.9 is his best path thus far at Drag Week. Alright, we're going to run solo in the left lane. As he builds up boost, he bumps it in, and he goes 1, 2, 3 to the 60 foot. That's not going to be what he needs either. 494 to the 8th, and 755.9 at 185 out the back. So, that is going to be plenty to keep him number one in class. Super genius. We'll get to that in a bit. First, we've got to see Joe Barry make a pass, hoping that he can get back on pace. Barry being our former leader in the ultimate iron category, which is for stock body cars on tube chassis. His best run so far at Drag Week this year, 7.000 at 2.09. They broke the center section of the nine and a half inch rear end yesterday. They got a spare from competitor Glenn Hunter. Glenn's actually in a different class. He got a spare from fellow racer Glenn Hunter. I have heard that it's working better than ever. into it to try and get a number and that number is 7966 at 158 miles an hour as he pulls the chute, coast uphill and will pull off. And that is what Drag Week is all about. 